Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here for our mentoring interest meeting. I'm just going to be running the slides uh, throughout the presentation and sharing some things about the mentoring program. But first, I'm going to hand it to Chantal for welcome and announcements from FTC. Yeah, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Chantal Sirier. I am the um, president of Future Technical Communicators, and it's nice to see everyone, both on the call and in person. I'm glad that everyone could come out tonight. Um, so just a few quick FTC announcements before we get into things. Uh, this Friday, we are having our first in-person uh, social of the school year. Uh, so it's going to be at Bo Boardwalk Bowl, a bowling social. Um, it's also our first fundraiser of the year. So we are... Um, paying for our members to come bowl and the shoes and all of that. So we have a suggested donation for bowlers. Um, but anyone who wants to donate um, would defi can definitely, um, you know, we would welcome any of that. Um, you can um, fill out the RSVP form. Um, so this is the form both to RSVP, whether you want to bowl or if you just want to hang out. And then also that's the donation link. Uh, like I said, for bowlers, there is a suggested donation, um, but it's as little, little or as much as uh, you see fit for yourself. And our next announcement is October 3rd. We are having um, our next general body meeting. It'll be about personal bra branding um, with Susan Kelly. So she spoke at the 2023 this year, <laughs> the SCC Summit. Uh, with a very similar presentation. Uh, some of our members went to it. Um, it was great. So um, she will be speaking to us. That is through Zoom. So that's what we have for FTC announcements. All right. Thanks, Chantal. And uh, congratulations again on being elected uh, FTC president. Thank you. I'm very excited for you. All right. So I made a slide to introduce myself because I've joked it because it's true that I'm notorious for just launching into a presentation and not introducing myself, uh, and just sort of assuming that you'll absorb my identity as if through osmosis or by seeing my name in Zoom. So uh, my name is Bethany Aguad. I use she, her pronouns. I am currently the STC Florida chapter president. And if that doesn't seem clear exactly what that means, don't worry, I'm gonna explain STC and Florida and chapter and everything as I get further into the presentation. I'm also currently the mentoring program coordinator. The other program coordinator is John Clement, who isn't here tonight, but uh, sends his regards and uh, you'll be hearing from him as we move forward with the program uh, in the month to come or months to come actually. So uh, you'll keep an eye out for John as well. I'm currently a technical documentation manager at a company called Silent8. I have been a mentor in the program since 2016. And I, my UCF grad, I liked it so much, I stayed for two degrees. So I got my bachelor's and master's in tech comm at UCF. I also have a former FTC president. I joined because Dr. Applin told me to, and I didn't know how to say no, and it was a great decision. And uh, I'm very proud to see FTC continuing to this year to be such a great resource for students. And, uh, you know, you guys do such fun stuff. I mean, it's always uh, inspiring to see the, all of the energy coming in year after year. Uh, I also joined the mentoring program uh, in 2011. I joined because I was asked and I didn't know what it meant, but I thought it would be a good opportunity because I was prepared to graduate uh, without any idea of how to get a job, what it meant to actually work as a technical communicator beyond like documentation itself. Uh, so my first mentor was Dan Voss, who is a long time member of the STC Florida chapter who actually established the mentoring program. And since then, there's been hundreds of mentor-mentee pairs. Uh, so we do this every year, uh, pairing industry professionals with students or new grads who are looking to learn more about the field of technical communication beyond the academic experience. And to answer your questions, not that we have all the answers. I've said many times that I've learned at least as much from my mentees as I have taught <laughs> because there's always new things to learn and new perspectives. But uh, to give you insights into what it's like on the other side, uh, you know, beyond the academic world and help you, you know, shape your resume, your portfolio and, and get you ready to find a job. So uh, if you have questions along the way, uh, please feel free to put them in the chat. I'll, I do have a slide for questions at the end, but I'll try to keep an eye on that if there's anything that I need to clarify as I'm talking through. All right. So. Just a quick overview of the presentation. I'm gonna be going over what is STC? So you're not wondering, well, we have FTC and we have STC. What's the difference? What do those mean? 
a bit about what the benefits of student membership at STC are, the mentoring program itself and how it works, and if you're interested in taking it to the next step after that, what that would include. So let me just jump right into it. So I know we have FTC, the Future Technical Communicators Student Club, and then STC. And the acronyms are very similar and sound very similar. It presents an ongoing challenge that I enjoy seeing how we solve this uh, conundrum every time. But STC stands for the Society for Technical Communication. And it's the world's largest professional association dedicated to technical communication. So that means people from all different industries who are technical communicators with different roles, whether that be writing, editing, designing, uh, are able to be members, learn from each other, grow their networks, do projects. Uh, it includes academics as well, people who are managing tech comm teams, people who are instructing uh, students or who are trainers on the job. So there's lots of different uh, facets of tech comm and people who are involved. I also mentioned, I think, that we're global. So for instance, the previous president for the whole society uh, is Australian and she would be joining STC calls from Australia, which meant some very early morning meetings for her. Uh, but it's a great way to connect with people even beyond your community. When I, I'm going to talk a little about STC Florida, I'm talking about the geographic chapters or communities. So within STC, there are uh, regional groups. So we are Florida, but there are other regions as well. Uh, that are representing geographic locations, but they're also special interest groups. So if you're interested in a particular aspect of TechCom and want to really hone in on that experience and learn from people who are working there, like for instance, technical editing or instructional design, STC has special groups for people who are working in those areas or want to as well. So uh, I'll talk a bit about like sort of events we have, but I don't want you to think that it stops there. There are also events from other communities and from STC at large that you'd be able to participate in. All right, so about the Florida chapter. We were formed in 1977. Uh, this is just to establish our credibility. So you'll be very impressed that we've held it together all these years. But essentially we started as a chapter just for Central Florida and then for Orlando, but th now we uh, are happy to welcome people beyond our borders uh, since, you know, uh, we really expanded in the pandemic to welcome people like we have one of our longtime chapter members who joins us from California regularly. So when we say Florida, we're not trying to say that we're excluding anyone beyond there, but we are really focused on serving the interests of our members here in Florida, whether that includes uh, working closely with FTC and, you know, anyone else at the University of Central Florida and uh, focusing on providing assistance on finding jobs, information, you know, here in our state and beyond. We have monthly educational and networking meetings. So you'll hear a little bit about that. I'll mention some of our programs. Uh, and we also just get together and chat what's going on in the industry. We've talked a lot about chat GPT lately, uh, since it's something we're all considering how that's going to shape our work. Uh, and it's really a place to meet with like-minded people. So just to speak a little bit about that for my personal <laughs> life, I joined uh, FTC, as I mentioned, because Dr. Applin told me to, which he was right about. And I really glad for what I learned in that experience. But joining STC not just helped me build the skills I need to find a job and build leadership skills, but also to connect with people. Uh, not that you won't find other technical communicators as you're working, but it's really valuable to, you know, hear other perspectives from people who are working in different industries and different roles but where you still have this shared mindset, what you're trying to achieve, you're trying to create clear communication, whatever form that takes. Uh, we also all tend to be pretty geeky about what we do, where we have fun conversations, maybe even just before this meeting about margins and sizes <laughs> for, for, for fonts. So if that sounds fun to you, then <laughs> we might be the kind of people you want to hang out with. I certainly enjoy it. And I'm always learning new things from other members of our organization as well. So a little bit about student membership. Uh, I am, of course, not a student right now. There are different levels of membership in STC, but student membership is the uh, gives you the most benefits for, for the smallest cost. Uh, so if you join our mentoring program, we require that you join STC as a student member. Uh, that benefits the organization, but it also benefits you uh, because you get access to some additional things. So from the STC side, that's eligibility for some honors, like they have a Signa Tau, Tau Chi recognition and also STC scholarships. They also will give you the opportunity to volunteer on global initiatives. For those who know John Clement or have heard his name whispered on the wind, uh, John, I've joked, is STC famous because he's not only volunteered with our chapter, 
but more broadly uh, with committees at the STC level, like marketing initiatives and student outreach. So if you don't see your career staying here in Florida and you're going somewhere else, don't think that there's nothing STC has to offer you wherever you end up going. I've been really grateful to connect with people in states and across the whole country and in other countries across the globe. And it's, you know, wonderful to have different perspectives and uh, just make new friends, you know, beyond your immediate community. So I already mentioned that, but networking through volunteering. So if you're looking to build your portfolio, get some projects under your belt, have people who are willing to write recommendation letters for you, I really recommend volunteering, I'd say for our community, but also for STC more broadly. They also give you as a student discounts on uh, educational webinars, certifications, and courses. Uh, there's a whole page on the STC website, and I'll, I'll be happy to share some links on different things if you want to build your skills in a specific area. And you get access to their publications. So there's Technical Communication and Intercom, which are two different journals. Oh, sorry, I just want to say uh, I saw Roland hope to attend, but it cannot do so. Oh, yeah. Take care, Roland. Uh, we'll make sure we can send out the recording. So that'll be available. Uh, so that's a little bit of the pitch on STC. I also will mention, of course, the Florida chapter, uh, since you can see by my background that I am very proud to be part of our community. Our One of our flagship programs, I'll say, is the mentoring program. We do this every year with FTC. It's where I started. It's where many people in leadership in our community started as mentees and then became mentors and leaders. Uh, if you are a student, aside from a couple special events, we offer all of our uh, educational chapter meetings for free for students. So that would be for the rest of uh, 2023 and through 2024, instead of paying the small meeting fee that our chapter members usually pay. We also have beyond the mentoring program, additional leadership development opportunities. So if you have completed the mentoring program or are looking to hone your leadership skills, we'll pair you with a community leader who will help you build the confidence, assuredness, and the resistance to imposter syndrome that you need to be successful as a leader. Not that any of you have ever experienced that, and I certainly have never myself uh, wondered how I've gotten as far as I have, but <laughs> it's a great place to, to grow your skills. We also have uh, postings for jobs locally. I know you get some of that through FTC, but we share as well. And uh, just opportunities to network with communicators across the state of Florida and beyond. So I think it's a great group to hang out with, uh, you know, and spend time, learn, share. And uh, even if you don't end up joining or doing the mentoring program, Always happy to see you at any upcoming meetings or events, and uh, you're always welcome to reconnect. All right, so let's get into the mentoring program itself and how it works. I know I mentioned a few benefits along the way, but I wanted to say, try to point out the ones that were most useful for me when I was preparing to graduate and joining, but these do not have to be exclusive. Uh, we don't constrain the mentoring program to make sure that everyone has the exact same experience. It's something that is tailored to you by your mentor, something you discuss together and negotiate. So don't think that uh, you're going to necessarily be locked into doing these things if they're not things that you need. But uh, for me, I was looking for career guidance. I knew I liked editing a lot and I could write and I wasn't really sure beyond the classes I'd taken what jobs that would prepare me for or which things I would like uh you know what sort of projects I should do beyond what I already had in my portfolio from school so providing assistance on how to approach the job search should I message hiring managers on LinkedIn if I apply for a job how forward should I be uh lots of advice on you know some of the negotiation <laughs> elements of, of entering a new space in the professional world. Also polishing a resume. We had a little chat before the meeting started about a resume, which I don't know anyone who enjoys writing their own resume. It's a challenge to, you know, find not just the best things about yourself, but the most employable things about yourself uh, to put onto a single page of paper. And also uh, we've mentioned working on your portfolio. What sort of writing samples should you have? You know, what would be useful? What, what's your best representation of your work? Uh, I definitely struggled with that um, and knowing which of my class assignments would look good or if I should create entirely new samples. So there's no one answer to any of these things, but it's great to have someone who will give you advice on how to make you successful. Also, developing your network. I've been really grateful to have, uh, I mentioned Dan Boss as my mentor, who helped connect me with other people because I was not sure how to get started. It's like, do I just approach people? Do I need you to introduce me to people? Like, uh, 
how do you do any of this uh, beyond just walking up to people and saying, I really could use a job. Is there anything you can do? <laughs> uh, so it was great to have someone who would open doors for me and say, I know Bethany, she's been a great mentee. We did these projects together. She'd be a great asset here. Or, you know, maybe you can recommend her if you have some sort of project there. Uh, and it was really useful to have uh, an advocate, you know, so those are just a few things I wanted to, to highlight. So brief overview of the steps. Uh, we start with applications. So we have a link to a Google form and you fill out if, some information about yourself, where you are in your program, what your work experience is like, uh, what are you interested in? Uh, do not feel bad if you look at the list of things that are we consider skills in tech comm and go, I want to learn all of these, none of these, I don't know what these are, uh, and just go with the things that stand out to you the most, or Google them. Uh, but overall, we just try to represent all the different facets of tech comm because we're going to use that for the next step, the pairing. So the mentors also fill out an application, and then we use the information in those forms to do our best job to pair up mentors and mentees who will be complementary. So we, of course, uh, do not grow our mentors in a lab, so we can't guarantee that they will match you 100% on every single thing you wanted to learn. But uh, it's a great way for us to see who seems like they're compatible based on their availability, their interests, and, and also uh, what particular skills you're going to bring to the table or they're going to bring to the table that you can learn. Oh, yes. Uh, if whoever is on the iPhone, we will admit you if you rejoin the call. So, um, mentioned uh, we do the pairing. So that's something that John and I do together. We receive all the applications, we go through all of them. And then at, as part of that process, we will get back to you and let you know if we have paired you with a mentor. The only reason that there would be a pause here is if something happens, like has occurred some years where we had so many mentee applications that we went forth to recruit more mentors. Uh, so we will certainly let you know uh, as soon as you are paired after the applications are closed. And once you are, we do require that you sign up for STC membership. So that means joining STC and also uh, becoming a member of the STC Florida chapter, which is free as part of your STC membership. So once you've done that, then we will be sending out a poll to do a kickoff. In the old days, this used to be uh, at like Olive Garden and we would eat breadsticks. But since we have so many people who are not immediately in Orlando with our, with the tech comm program being available online and mentors joining from other states, uh, we do that virtually. We're open to doing it uh, in person and there is an option on the form. If you are interested in doing face-to-face -face mentoring, we will try to pair you with someone who lives uh, in the or greater Orlando area, but we cannot guarantee it since I know we have people joining from lots of different places. I do think that's a strength of the program and I'm glad to be able to connect with people across greater distances. I live in the far flung region of Palm Bay. The reason I'm not uh, at UCF in person is because there was a thunderstorm and it's a, about an hour drive that I did not want to make uh, at that time. I do see a question if we went to the mentoring program once, can you do it multiple times? Uh, we certainly are not opposed to that. I would probably want to chat and make sure that we're providing what you need uh, as part of that experience, but there's certainly nothing that, that bars you from continuing or discussing with your existing mentor if you're already paired with someone and seeing if they would like to continue. Uh, for instance, I know Julia was uh, going to be joining us. Uh, she and I were paired in the mentoring program and we just never stopped meeting uh, because we're friends <laughs> and, and Julia is really a great person to know. So uh, we don't really uh, say that you are barred from speaking to your mentor after the the recommended fall to spring rotation. We try to kind of follow the school year, but it's not uh, intended to be ended. So uh, feel free to message me specifically if you have uh, something that you're needing there, or if you want, you can fill out the application and I can follow up. I am putting my email in the chat. So uh, after we do, we plan that kickoff, we, uh, reveal who your mentor is, they meet you. We set up some time for you to go over uh, what you both put in your application so that you can see, you know, what were you looking to learn? What are their skills? And talk about how you're going to be uh, going forward. So we ask that you schedule a meeting, of course, not necessarily in person if you're online, but set a time when you will meet and a regular meeting cadence. And then you're gonna pursue your goals, which you define together. We do have a form uh, that sort of guides that process and we have recommendations for activities but uh, we do not set the goals for you. Uh, we do leave that up to you guys to decide because we feel that mentoring is a really personal experience and everyone is looking for something maybe a little different from the standard or 
you know, maybe you're on a different time frame. Some people might be just looking to build their portfolio, especially if you're maybe a junior and you're not entering the job market right away, or you might be in the situation where you're thinking, I'm graduating soon. I need to prioritize the job hunt. And that is, that is the greatest <laughs> goal right now is to find me a job. So uh, that, as I said, is up to you to talk about with your mentor. Beyond that, you just continue meeting. Uh, you know, at the, at the cadence you set, we recommend at least once a month. Um, but some people meet more regularly. Like I think I've met with most of my mentees weekly or every couple of weeks. And uh, I mentioned the program typically runs uh, fall to spring. But again, there's nothing that says that you need to stop at that point and you're welcome to continue meeting if it's something you decide to do together. So just to check in, I know we were... Uh, is is Julia arrived yet? Uh, yes, I'm here. Sorry Yay! about being late. No, no, you're here right now for your slide, so you are perfectly on time. Yay! If you want the camera, it's that one, but not that works. Um, which camera? Up oh, here. Well, so uh, while you're sorting that out, just a quick okay, introduction. There you go. Yeah, so Yay. they they got to hear from me all this time. So I'm giving them a break and an opportunity to hear from uh, one of my favorite mentor mentee pairs uh, from this past year, which is Julia Southwick and Joy Karen Dang, who have been just a delight uh, as a mentor mentee pair and have done wonderful things together. So instead of just hearing from me what my experience has been, I wanted you to hear from them. So Julia has been both a mentee and a mentor in the program, and uh, Joy has been a mentee and. FTC president and STC FTC liaison and is uh you know just a real bright light that I couldn't believe has only been in here I was like Joy's been here forever what did we do before Joy and honestly I don't remember the time for Julia either uh you've been such wonderful you know positive presences in our community so I guess I will hand it to Julia first if you want to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your experience hey everyone I'm Julia Southwick I use she her pronouns I'm the STC Florida Vice President, Communications Chair, Newsletter. Sorry, I need water before I can actually talk. Hang on a yeah, second. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your time. Go ahead, Joy. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, all good. Um, great to see you, Julia. Just needed a quick drink. I biked here. <laughs> um, I'm also the newsletter editor which our newsletter is Memo to Members. If you'd like to write for it, please let me know. If you need help with ideas, I have an ideas page for you. I'm also Joy's mentor and Bethany's mentee. It's been, oh, I think, four going on five years since I joined STC. And all this time I've been meeting with Bethany, which has been amazing. But on the mentor side of things, it's also been great to see Joy grow in her confidence and skills. We've done a fair few projects, some of which for Memo to Members, and we also presented for the Florida chapter on MailChimp, which is an email delivery platform, and it was great working with you, Joy, on that. I'm gonna turn it over to you for a quick introduction. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, Julia, for your kind words. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Joy, and I currently serve as the FTC-STC liaison for um, the Florida chapter of the Society for Technical Communication, as well as a communications committee member. Uh, over the past year, I've had the honor of being part of FTC um, through being historian and also um, a president uh, in the past, and I'm um, looking forward to uh, my new role as the event coordinator and uh, outreach director. And um, it's honestly been a pleasure to be with Julia uh, as part of the mentoring program. And it's been a really rewarding experience. As she said, I've uh, we've had the honor on working on many projects together from our personality type article series, graphics and pages for the STC Florida website and newsletter, as well as our MailChimp presentation in May. She's taken the time to help me tremendously with my resume and LinkedIn page as well. And this past year, I've uh, been honored to have so many opportunities to expand my skill set. Uh, in skills I thought were never possible for me, uh, such as uh, graphic design and public speaking. And I really owe it to Julia and our FTC 
and STC Florida communities for everything. Um, Julia has also been a fantastic support system, providing plenty of resources and career and professional development, STC Florida membership, and her uh, unique perspectives as an established technical communication professional. I would definitely recommend everyone to become a mentee as you will be paired with a mentor who has been in your place as a student and early career professional, and they'll be there to guide and encourage you throughout the duration of the program. It's a wonderful way to gain interpersonal skills, develop your network, and identify your personal slash career goals, and becoming part of STC Florida opens so many doors to professional development opportunities and an extended invitation to a kind and supportive community. Thanks, Joy. Um, if I can go back and forth here. Um, I remember when I first became a mentee, I was mainly looking for a job. I just graduated and I was of the stubborn mindset. I don't need help. I can do this by myself. I was wrong. Thank you, Bethany, for not only helping me find one job, but two of them. <laughs> and that is one good reason to join. You can also find a wonderful community. As Joy said, we are a very supportive group. And when we flub our words or we're not sure on a fact, we're always willing to lend a hand. It's a fantastic experience as a mentor and also as a mentee. Who knows? If you become a mentee, you could be preparing yourself to become a mentor someday. And you'll be teaching other people what you learned from your mentor. Yes, I've joked that since Julia was was my mentee and Joy is her mentee, that therefore Joy must be my grand mentee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so if you would one day like to have a grand mentee. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you join our community, just for, prepare for a couple of inside jokes. Uh, we have a lot of members whose names start with J and it was starting to make me a little anxious. So uh, <laughs> if you are interested in joining the J name conspiracy, I believe Joy, Julia, and John are the leaders. Um, Julia makes me wants me to mention this is 90% a joke, but 10% mm -hmm. I am noticing there's a lot of J names. So uh, they, if you were interested in joining, what I assume will be some sort of coup at some point, uh, feel free to reach out to them as well. Um, these are the sort of things <laughs> that we joke about. But uh, I also want to mention that Julia is actually quantifiably the most active member of the STC Florida chapter. Uh, I've mentioned a little bit about our community. What I didn't mention is our shirts. I did not wear mine today. I should have. Uh, Julia is wearing one of our active member shirts that if you participate in our events, if you write articles, if you mentor, or if you volunteer, if you give presentations, you get points. And if you get enough points, you get a shirt. Uh, Julia has the most points <laughs> I had ever seen in my time in STC. So if you are a competitive person, I need help dethroning Julia as the most active member of our community. She has far surpassed me. So uh, be clear, I'm not actually a rival for Julia, but I enjoy the competition and knowing that we will, you know, both get active member shirts. So <laughs> just to give a little insight into some of the things we might talk about as we go along. And a little teaser for you on that same note, mm. look forward to an article, a new <laughs> challenger approaches. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, thank you, Joy and Julia, for sharing a little bit about your experience. Um, I, when we were doing the pairings, John, I last year, we paired you guys first because you seemed like such a natural fit based on your interests and personalities. And, and like I said, it's been wonderful to see, you know, the things you've done together and how well you've, you know, bonded as, as a mentor mentee pair. Thank I, you. I was gonna say, is there anything else that you would want, uh, anyone who's considering the mentoring program to know or or just anything to share from your experience? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say that, um, thank you. It's been a really uh, fantastic experience and I'm very grateful to have um, to have Julia in my life as well as STC Florida. And yeah, um, honestly, I definitely recommend this to anyone interested. Um, it's the perfect way to get um, your foot in the door, especially with um, technical communication if you're brand new to it. Um, I remember last year I was uh, I was fresh in my um, in 
my program in TechCom, I came from an English literature background and just being part of STC has really um, helped me expand my knowledge in the field. And I love getting to hear about the latest insights and developments through everyone. Everyone is so knowledgeable and they're always um, happy to share uh, information with you and help you grow. Thank you, Joy. It's wonderful to hear. Just want to mm -hmm. check in if anyone had any questions, but I'll let I'll let Julia talk in the meantime. No, I was going to say exactly the same thing. I was just <laughs> going to say in the chat, Bethany has said, are there any questions? Then either you have questions you can come up and speak or like tell me and like, first step of like doing an application uh -huh. where would you put it next like okay um, can we get the link to the applications in chat please sure it also will be an upcoming slide but i will go ahead and put it in now so it's available so everyone's welcome to take a look at that and then after you, we finish with your questions i will go over a little bit about the application we do have a question about uh the newsletter um I believe you have the link to the ideas page a little bit up. Mm -hmm. Memo to members. Um, dash. Yes. Oh, I'll, the link put, is there. <laughs> I'll, put the, I'll put the link in again, which is the article ideas page. Uh, any, and also I'll put your uh, your email in there, Julia, for, for the newsletter. Okay. There is also the email in that article. There you go. So yeah, please do reach out to Julia. She's wonderful to work with on articles. She is a very kind, sensitive, non-judgmental editor. Uh, if she finds mistakes, she will correct them with kindness. So do not hesitate to reach out with her. It's also great for things to include your portfolio, links to have, you know, to share, improve your search engine optimization. I know everyone's thinking about their personal brand as part of the upcoming FTC meeting. So uh, yeah, please do reach out to Julia for that. And generally speaking, when I'm editing, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. That's my main rule. Absolutely. All right. I don't see any other questions. Uh, last call for questions for Joy and Julie specifically. I will also have time for questions about the program at the end, if anyone has anything further. All right. Well, thank you again to Joy and hey, Julia. Well, one more in the room. Perfect. Okay. When you guys were talking about like uh when you do like volunteering and like the like unpaid how, how do you guys find that through STC? The question is how do we find volunteering in STC? Oh, like how, how do you find opportunities to volunteer? Yes, and I think I got this one, but you can jump take, in. And take it away. <laughs> we have on the main STC Florida site, a volunteering page, which lists a bunch of different things that we could use some help with. You can also email me or Bethany and we'll let you know what projects we have that we could use a hand with. And there's also just generally, if you wanna do something and you're not sure what, you can come to our administrative council or ADCO meetings. We meet on the second Tuesday, I believe. Yes. No, that's the, sorry. That's, that's, a, the, that's the networking. It's the second Thursday. Yeah. Second Thursday. And you're like, Brankman's like volunteering as a way to build up experience or like certain term ways of writing. Um, The writing would be for memo to members. You can go on the ideas yeah. page there and see if there's anything there that sparks your interest. If not, if it's related to technology and communication, I'll publish it. Write anything. It could be a class assignment. So the volunteering is a variety of different things, um, and it's just um, some people um, turn their like mentor projects into like volunteering for STC. Like my most recent project was publishing an article with memo to members. Um, so it's definitely something you can talk about, you know, with your mentor or like Julia was saying, reaching out um, independently. Um, so there's a lot of different ways. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I can show you on my laptop the volunteering page. I just need to actually get over there first. So give me a few minutes. I, I can probably find that later. Sure. I did put the links in the chat for those who are on, on the call. Okay. 
Did I miss anything, Bethany? No, I think that's great. Uh, uh, the only thing I would add is if you were, uh, if there's some sort of volunteer project you're looking to do that we don't have something at our uh, community or you're looking to do something with people beyond, uh, it would be more of a let us know as human beings and we will connect you with people uh, since that's how it tends to, to roll in SDC. So I, I think I put my email in the chat, but yeah, you're always welcome to, to email me. I am I am around. Or if you want to message on our Discord server, which I did not include in this presentation. I know FTC has a wonderful Discord server and we're not just copying them, I swear. It's a totally new thing that we came up with on our own. Uh, but another place where we're trying to share some opportunities for our community as well. All right. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Joy and Julia. Um, I'd also like to point out they don't cease to exist. Uh, if you have anything later that you want to follow up with, I'm pretty sure they're both friendly and willing to, to chat with you about their experience or about STC or FTC or TechCom in general. Uh, so thank you again to Joy and Julia. Yep. Yeah, and if Later, there are questions in chat. We will be happy to answer them. Otherwise, we're both on the STC Discord and the FTC Discord. Feel free to reach out. Yes, please. Thanks. Right. You just put up like a bat signal and they'll appear. <laughs> All right. So I know we had a question about the application. Um, let's talk next steps. So what happens next if you're interested in joining the program? Well, I mentioned you apply. We have our Google form. Uh, that is free online to apply. So I did mention we asked that you sign up for F STC membership if you join the program, but you do not have to do that to do out, fill out the application. You're welcome to take a look at it uh, and see what we're asking for. We try to get some background information on you uh, and what you know, you're know you looking to learn, as I mentioned. And all of this information is just used by the coordinators for pairing you with your mentor. The only other person it gets shared with is the mentor we pair you with where you see each other's applications. Uh, please don't divulge any dark secrets if you've committed any murders or felonies or anything like that. Um, you know, we can't protect you if you've done any crimes, but otherwise everything you you share is is private um, as part of the program. We don't, you know, splash it out on our webpage or anything like that. Um, it's just to help us find a mentor who will be a good fit for you. I mentioned before uh, that we then do that pairing and we let you know if you've been accepted to the program. I just to clarify that's not like a judgment call on our part. It's just a guarantee that we have enough mentors for the mentees and that there's someone who's a good fit for you. If not, we will continue searching because uh, I know sometimes we do have someone who's looking to do something specific and we reach out to our network to find someone who can teach what you want to learn. So if you do get accepted, we have a mentor for you. We let you know. We ask you to join for the membership. Uh, that is $80, and I wanted to clarify, you would be signing up for the 2024 membership. So if you sign up as a student member of STC, which I encourage you to do, even if you don't join the mentoring program, though I'd like you to join the mentoring program as well, uh, that covers the rest of 2023 and all of 2024. So even if you are like graduating in the spring or the summer, you can still be a student member through the rest of the year with the benefits that I went over previously and you sign up on the STC website, we would send you all the details for how to do that. But again, that's after you fill out the application and we have a mentor for you. Uh, I have the application link in the chat. Uh, feel free to open it, check it out, see what you think. If you have any questions, there is an email there for the mentorship uh, inbox that would go to John and I, if you see anything along the way. And we have a question. So we fill out the application and wait until we get paired before paying the fee. If if you are joining specifically for the mentoring program, we don't require you to, to fill it out and to pay the fee until we know that we have paired you. I do encourage you to become an SEC member regardless. I think it's a great experience. It's great to have on your resume. Uh, you know, it helps connect with other professionals, but we don't require it until we've said, yes, we have a mentor for you, at which point you do have to be an STC member since we put our volunteer time and resources into finding a mentor, pairing you with them and supporting you throughout the time. Uh, hopefully that is a clear answer to your question. Feel free to let me know if you have follow-up questions about that. And I will share the link to the STC membership page so you can see what that entails beyond what I've mentioned. Again, uh, student membership is $80 for the year. It's certainly a lot less, you'll see, than the full membership price. But let me grab the link so you can see that as well. So when you fill out that application, uh, like I said, you'll fill out the form for us. We'll let you know when we have a mentor for you. Then we will send you the instructions for the membership and you sign up for STC. And then you select, uh, you get a free community, which should be us, the Florida chapter. And you say that you'd like to join uh, in addition to the other benefits you get. So 
Uh, for the timeline, I mentioned the application. We do the pairing. Here's how what our plan is. Uh, the applications are going to be due October 3rd. I know that's not a lot of time from now, but the application itself only takes a few minutes. And we're really eager to get the program started so that we have time to receive the applications for the mentors and mentees, make the pairings uh, within a few days, and then schedule time for the kickoff. So after we have made paired you with mentor, we let you know about the membership, then we'll send out a poll to find a good time for your uh, you and your mentor to meet. And then we schedule that typically on Zoom. And we'd like to try to do that by the last week of October. I know otherwise, if it gets further into the semester, it can be more challenging as Thanksgiving break comes up and then suddenly we have final exams. So if the timeline seems a little a little fast, uh, it's because we want to make sure we give you as much time uh, with your mentor as possible. So um, we'll make sure that's communicated about the deadlines, but October 3rd is the plan because we'll be doing the pairings within a few days of that. If, like I mentioned, we happen to have uh, more mentees than mentors or we're looking for a specific type of mentor, we will make sure to let you know that we're working to, to pair you with someone. Any questions about the timeline? All right. Then I think I accidentally flipped my sides. Questions, any questions more broadly about the mentoring program? Anything I could clarify? I know I talk kind of fast sometimes. I'm very passionate about the mentoring program and I get very enthused. All right. Uh, I also see the join note in the chat. The student membership also allows you to join a special interest group. Thank you for reminding me, Joy. So like I mentioned, there's special interest groups like in technical editing or instructional design. You get to join one of those groups for free as well. So you can connect with those members. So as much as I'd like you to hang out with us and talk techcom, you know, with our community, we also encourage you to connect with other professionals in the field, especially if you already have an idea what your field of interest might be or just want to learn more about something that maybe you haven't in your coursework so far. All right, then I'm going to go to my thanks slide. I, um, I have... So sorry, we have a question in the room. Did Yes, go for it. Now is a great time for it. I can come up for this one. So the question is, are the mentors, students, alum, professionals, what is a mentor? Great question. <laughs> you want to speak to your experience? Sure. A lot of us are alum of UCF, but almost all, if I remember correctly, are STC members. It's sometimes we have to reach out to other chapters in order to get mentors, or in the case of, I believe, two of our current mentors, they are from different states, but they like the Florida chapter, so they come mentor for us. It just depends on who's going to be the best fit for each individual to figure out, is their mentor going to be from UCF or from elsewhere? Yeah, and typically our mentors have several years of experience beyond a degree in the field, whatever their specific role is. Um, I know that varies a little bit. Some of us have more, some less. Sometimes some of our mentors have 30 years of experience. Uh, and we try to take that into account also in making the pairings with, you know, what's going to be a good fit. Uh, so we do, you know, have them fill out the applications as well. So we have a good sense of what their experience level is and what their comfort level is. I will say most of our mentors who are previously mentees uh, are always waiting to feel like they have all the answers before they can mentor. Um, I, I won't name any names, but I know some folks like me who <laughs> or Julia <laughs> who uh, maybe after even after years of experience in the field, weren't sure if we were ready to be mentors, but have found it to be a really rewarding experience because the things you learn along the way, especially earlier in your career, are really useful to be able to share with someone else. I've always said, I'm happy to share the mistakes I have made so you can make new ones uh, or none, ideally, no mistakes, no mistakes at all. Just learn from my mistakes. Uh, so it really does vary the, the level of experience, but they're either... Uh, right, our community members or STC connections from other communities. Good question. Yeah, great question. All right. I don't see anything else in the chat right now. I guess we can do a, a last call. Okay. 
that is all I have uh, for slides. Um, thank you also for listening, for being part of this, and whether you sign up for the mentor program or not, uh, hopefully I will see or hear from you again. We have a question. So do the application, get paired, pay $80, and then go from there. Yeah, there you go. That summarizes all of my slides. Uh, that, that is exactly right. I just clarified the $80 does not, you know, it's not really reimbursement or anything for, for not uh, paying for the mentors. That's just part of the membership uh, for being part of the organization. So as your STC membership more broadly and also our community. But yep, yeah, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And if you have questions along the way, you are more than welcome to reach out Discord or in the email like I've shown for mentorship. Uh, yes, for the link to pay the $80, I was going to send out all those details uh, when you have completed your applications and we've done the pairings so that we can guarantee it to you. But regardless, I will send you the details for a signing up for STC membership. Because I hope you'll join STC. I think it's it's been a great experience in my career. I really struggled with how to transition from being a good student to being a professional. And uh, STC and the people that were part of the community were really essential for helping me not just do the right things and, you know, follow the right steps, but helping me feel confident in what I was doing. Um, I know there's there's no guarantees in life, right? We can't always say if you do all the right things, you'll get good outcomes, but it certainly helps to have people in your corner so that you're not, you know, going it alone, uh, because that's certainly the, the hardest thing anyone can try to do. So uh, we are we are here to help. Uh, we have done, Elizabeth says four semesters left, so I don't know if I should wait now or do it now or wait till next year. I guess it's sort of up to you. Uh, some people find that it's really helpful to join the mentoring program even before they're looking for a job just to help sort of hone what they're interested in doing in tech comm, which is a very broad field. I certainly would encourage you to sign up if you are planning to be a technical communicator and you're looking to learn more. Uh, I also will say, I've mentioned my, my mentor, Dan Voss, who was a great resource. Uh, he did proposal writing, which I thought that sounds super cool. And I learned more about it. And I was like, gosh, that sounds really stressful. I'm now eliminating proposal writing for large government contracts from my list of jobs that I think I'd be a good fit for because I don't love stress uh, <laughs> in my work. I work best with plenty of time for my deadlines. So uh, even if you're not job hunting right now, I think it can be a really edifying experience. It definitely helped me figure out the kind of technical communicator I wanted to be and what things I valued so that when I was looking for a job, I kind of knew where to focus my search. And I've been very lucky to never be out of work for very long, partly because of my, my STC connections. And also, I'll be honest, partly because of luck. Uh, there's always that as well, but it's really helped to be part of the community. So I would encourage you to, to apply now and not wait till next year, but I certainly wouldn't be sad to see you next year if you decide to wait. I will be here regardless, vying for the most active member points against Julia in our, in our quest. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Thank you, Bethany. Oh yeah, thank you. And you know, it's it's a great profession to be part of. I know the getting started is the hardest part, honestly. Not that there's never challenges in your career, but it really is challenging just to get your foot in the door with your with your first opportunity. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I, as Julia mentioned, we had to do that for her twice <laughs> due to the pandemic and some other challenges. Okay. Well, uh, I think that I will call it there. Uh, Chantal, is there anything else you want to add from the FTC side or just a reminder about the next events? Um, yeah, no, not really. Um, all of the speakers covered things um, very well. Um, if I had a reminder, again, we're having the bowling social this Friday. Um, we asked that you RSVP beforehand um, and the personal branding meeting. Uh, but besides that, um, we will post uh, on the FTC channels the um, mentoring program application uh, between tomorrow and possibly a bit on um, Thursday, but definitely getting that up as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, um, it's been a great meeting. So Thank you again to all of the speakers. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care, everyone. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see or hear from you soon. <laughs>